adding integers with manipulatives. Let's start with negative 2 plus negative 4. And I'm going to model this with integer chips. Each one of these negative circles is going to count for negative 1. So I have 2 for negative 2 and 4 of them for negative 4. And since we're adding, we're putting these all together, and we got two negatives and four negatives. That's going to make six negatives, or a total of negative six. All right, I have negative two plus five. So if I want to model this, I need to have two negative chips, and because the five is positive, I need five positive chips. Now this problem is a little bit different than the last one because we have chips of different kinds. Positive and negative chips don't like each other. They cancel each other out and become zero. So that negative and positive become zero and that negative and positive become zero. I can remove these chips because they add up to zero. Leaving only three positive chips, so negative 2 plus 5 is positive 3. Let's evaluate 4 plus negative 7. So we model it with 7 negative chips and 4 positive chips. Now, even though we're adding, we can't just add 7 and 4 together. We've got to kill and cancel out the positives and negatives that match up to make zero. So there's four pairs that make zero. They get removed. You can see that we have three negative chips left, meaning that four plus negative seven has a sum of negative three. Now, using integer chips is fine for adding and subtracting integers, but we can also use number lines. To model 4 plus 3, you start at 0 and go to the first number, which is 4, and then you think about adding 3. So should you go up or down 3? Well, we need to add 3. We're going to go up 3, and we will end up at 7. You already know this. 4 plus 3 is 7. Now let's model on the number line negative 5 plus negative 3. Just like last time, start at zero and go in the direction of the first number. So in this case, we go from zero to negative five. Now we're adding a negative three. Should the negative three go up the number line or down the number line? Well, minus three should go down, so we go negative three to the left, and we see that we end up at negative eight. Negative five plus negative three is negative eight negative 2 plus 4. Let's start by making our number line and then remember you start at 0 and go in the direction of the first number. So 0 to negative 2. And then from negative 2 we need to go up 4 because we're going positive 4 which will have you end up at 2. So negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. All right, one last one, eight plus negative three. Make your number line, and then remember, start at zero, go to the eight, because that's the first number, so we went up eight, and now we're adding negative three, so should we go up or down? Well, negative three is negative, we should go to the left, we go to the left three from eight, that has us finish at five, so eight plus a negative three, is equal to 5.